Hey guys, Bill here with Catch22. This is a YouTube channel geared towards kayaking, fishing, playing in the outdoors, and gear reviews. If that's something you dig, then please consider subscribing to the channel. It's a nice day here in Michigan. It hit 70s for the first time. So I grabbed the kayak and I hit the water. It was a good day of fishing and you'll see here that I hook into a really nice crappie so I decided to take it home for dinner. That's right folks you're watching a catch and cook. So stay tuned for the action and my best impression of Bobby Flay. Oh, oh, boy. Look at the size of that crop. Catch and cook pies. Okay guys, back at the house, we did the catching part, now it's time for the cook part. So the first thing I gotta do is get some nice fillets off of this crappie. You'll have to excuse me, this is the first fish cleaning of the season, so I may be a little rusty, but hang in there, we'll get through it and we'll enjoy some fish. Okay, first thing I'm gonna wanna do is Turn our fish this way, get underneath this fin right here, there we go, cutting through, I'm going to kind of curve up at the top because of all that meat right there. Okay, once I have that cut, I'm going to run my knife along the back here on this side of the fin, poke through and go the rest of the way through the tail. There we go. Once we get past this fin, we can go through the other side. Run your knife right through. Okay. Now, it's just a matter of cutting that meat 
away from the bones. You want a really nice sharp knife for this. That's why you saw me sharpening, or I should say honing the blade. And you just want to follow those ribs. And you can hear the knives hitting the ribs. Okay. Just want to shave the meat off of the ribs. Okay. Normally I wear gloves for no other reason than just to get a better um, grip of the fish as I'm working with it. You want to be careful. And you just want to work your knife around that cage. You can see the meat coming off nicely. There we go. One side done. We'll flip her over and do the other side. Now, I know what kind of crappie this is. I want to see if you guys know what kind of crappie this is. So comment below what type of crappie do you think this is. Is this a black crappie or a white crappie? And when you comment, make sure to explain why you think it's either a black or white crappie. There we go. Two sides. Not horrible. I would have liked some more of that tail meat. But uh, all in all, not bad for first of the season. Okay. Now we want to take the skin. So I'm going to just get under the skin like so right here then I'm gonna grab onto that skin and hold really good with my knife facing down we're just going to wriggle the meat free of the skin Again, my knife is angled downward and skin is removed nice large fillet ready to go okay I've got some bones right here so I'm just gonna cut them out like so there we go Now it's completely boneless. You know what? I'm going to split this into two fillets. One fillet done. Get rid of that skin. Do the same with the other. Again, just want to cut down a little bit. There we go. Grab that tail. I'm going to get a little bit more here. There we go. So now I've got a good grip on the fish or on the skin. My knife angled downward. I'm just going to shimmy it underneath all that meat, separating it from the skin.
our fillets are done. Now to clean these off and get them ready for cooking. Okay guys, it's gonna be a very simple preparation. We have flour, we have a garlic clove, we have salt, we have Old Bay, and we have ground black pepper. Okay, there's no measurements here guys. I'm eyeballing these the way I like. So I'm gonna get some flour out on the plate. Okay. Here's our flour. This right here holds about a quarter cup, so I guess you can say a half a cup of flour. We want some salt in there. Decent amount. But not too much because the Old Bay will have some salt in it. Pop open the Old Bay. Sprinkle that along. You want a good hefty amount because again we're adding this to the breading and it's going to get really diluted with all that flour. So a nice hefty amount. Okay. Some black pepper. There we go. And we need to mix that up. Just grab a fork and incorporate all those ingredients. See guys, that's not a lot of Old Bay. As you can see, it just gets engulfed in all that flour. Okay. So that's nice and mixed. So we have this garlic clove. It's obviously not going to go in there. We're actually going to put it in with the butter and olive oil that we'll be cooking this in. So this isn't just a fishing show, guys. Let me show you a little tip or technique. See this garlic clove? Just smash it. Put a nice whack. The skin and the paper comes right off like so. Oh, the garlic smell has hit me. Okay, so we have the skin all taken off. It's actually two cloves in one. But if you take a look, when I smashed it, it kind of macerated it a little bit. So we've got these little breaks and cuts within, and that's all we want. We don't want to mince this. We don't want to chop this. I want it just like this. So we're going to head over to the pan. Where, which I've been heating up. Add a little bit of olive oil. Okay. We're adding olive oil because it has a higher smoke point than the butter. If you were to just add the butter, it would uh, brown or burn even pretty quickly. So by adding that olive oil, it will raise the smoke point of this butter. So we're just going to add a couple dabs of butter. And we're going to take the garlic and add that to the pan like so. I had it on low, bringing it up to medium low. Don't need the butter. So I'm going to move that around a little bit. The butter is melting. The juices of the garlic is getting out into the butter, into the olive oil. It's going to make it really fragrant, really aromatic, and it's going to taste so good. Bring our breading and our fillets over. We're going to take a nice thick fillet. It's a little wet from cleaning, from rinsing off, so that's good. It'll give something flour and seasoning to adhere to. Okay, we're just gonna dredge it in the flour, make sure everything's got a nice coating, and then we're gonna dust it off. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside because I'm gonna cook the big fillets together at once so that way they cook at the same time. They're going to take a little bit longer 
in that belly meat. But again, it's just a simple dredge, guys. You don't want to overdo it. Just want to make sure everything's covered. And you're going to shake off that excess flour. We've got two fillets going. Notice I do it with one hand and leave the other hand nice and clean so that way I can grab things and work. Okay. You guys can smell this. Ugh. If YouTube wants to get back on track and innovative, they'll create smell -o vision So let's take our two larger fillets and just lay them nicely into the oil and the butter and then it's a medium low it's closer to a medium but it's on my large burner <clears throat> here we are checking on the fish it's coming in along nicely I'm just going to take a peek. Usually, usually when the fish starts turning white like this around the edges, it's ready to be flipped. But a true way of knowing is just taking a peek. So I'm just going to take a gander under there. Okay, I like mine a little more golden. So we're going to let it continue to cook on this side a little bit more. And I'll flip it in a minute. Smelling really good. I think we're ready to flip. Looks good. Guys, I know this is a real simple preparation, but I'm telling you, it is so good. Look at that light crust of breading. Let's the fish come out. This garlic infused oil will permeate the fish. And then we've got that Old Bay salt and pepper. Oh, this is gonna be good. I pumped up the heat just a touch. Because again, I like mine a little bit more golden than what this is. And it's not going to need much more time to cook. You can press and feel the fish. And once it becomes a certain firmness, it's done. Okay guys, I had flipped these again. Just to get some more color on them. And they are done. They look amazing. They smell amazing. And I'm sure they will taste amazing. Let's get that on a plate. Now we can add our smaller pieces that won't take long at all. Just lay it in nicely. Like so. Turn off our heat because I think we're done. Get our plate. Put some of that excess oil come off. Lay that down on our plate. Like so. Look. Oh. We're going to dust it with some salt just a little bit to make sure you get that nice salty crunch on these fish. Mm. I'll see you at the table. Guys, will you look at that fish? Jeez. Okay, here we go. No tartar sauce, guys. Just a little squeeze of lemon. Oh. Okay. Pairing it up with a Stella cider. This is it guys, moment of truth. Mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. Guys, I'm telling you. This is so good. It's, it's light. There's no fishy taste whatsoever. The seasoning is spot on. Fully cooked all the way through. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Not overcooked. Not undercooked. Spot on. Mmm. Amazing. One more lemon. Mmm, 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 that's so good. Mmm. Look at how flaky that is. Mmm. Okay. I gotta stop. You guys can't listen to me enjoying this food like this. Mmm. Great. Oh, man. Well, that's it guys, my catch and cook. One sizable crappie. You see how many portions I got off of one fish. It's absolutely superb. You guys should go out on the water, catch your own crappie, and cook it just like this. It's amazing. This is Catch 22. I'm Bill. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You're gonna hit that like button. You're gonna subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos just like this. This is Catch 22, I'm Bill, and I need to finish my food.